hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so for today's video it's gonna be a super quick one um i decided to use more of these bt art box x coat tips um if you haven't seen my unboxing i did unbox their new xl pre french nails which are one of these here um i did unbox a pink color and then this one here has like a nude base um in the first video i did unbox them i used the pink ones so i wanted to use these for another set just to just to do something really really quick and for this video believe it or not i did record it the same day as my last video if you watched that one which was like that purple like the different shades of purples um that one if you've seen it if not i'll link it in the cards so the only reason why I wanted to come do this one and I did it in the same day is because I wasn't really satisfied with how the last set turned out. It was still good enough for me to post without like just throwing anything up but I just still wasn't satisfied with it so I was just like I just want to do something else just in case I don't post it. Um, So I popped the nails off, applied my peel off face again and now I'm going in with these quick gel X nails. And when it comes to picking out the sizes, always make sure they fit sidewall to sidewall without forcing them down. Because it's just going to give you a better application when you don't force the nail down or it's not too big. So I've already applied my peel off base. I've already picked out my sizes and now I'm going to be using the um, gels to go along with this. It comes with the step one, step two and the nail gel. So now that I got my sizes picked out, I'm going to be applying them using the gel glue. And applying them is such an easy process. As you guys know, you just put some of the gel inside of the nail tip. Not too much because you will get spilling from the back. Once you place it on the nail, you just want to go ahead and give it a flash cure, which you see me doing here, and then move on to the next nail. Now, BT Arc Box does have like a little lamp for this. You can use their lamp to cure it. However, since my Kara Sky lamp was already out from my previous video, I did just go ahead and use that. And also because I really like it a lot. Gel X nails are such an easy way to do your nails at home. Um, if you don't like the acrylic, if you don't know how to do poly gel, or if you can't do your nails at all, this is such an easy way to do your nails at home and get salon quality. Because these BT Art Box nails, like these soft gel nails, are my favorite nails to use when it comes to Gel X. The quality is so freaking amazing. Like I just love them and they come with a lot of pre-made designs so if you are bad at doing french tips if you can't really get them straight i feel like these would be a really nice purchase for you to get and also these are very affordable you get a lot of tips inside of one packaging and also you can get the entire kit which comes with the step one step two and the gel glue i feel like that is just like a nice beginner kit that you guys can start with if you are into Gel X nails or if you haven't tried these yet, I would definitely recommend. These are my favorite. And of course, I do have a discount code that you guys can use on the website. Um, and they also can be purchased on Amazon as well. I know when I see them, there's like this 15% off coupon that you can apply at checkout. Um, I don't know if it's there like every day, but for some reason when I go, I always see it. So check that out if you haven't. But yeah, as you guys just saw, um, I did go ahead and apply them. I do like to pop them into a bigger lamp to make sure they're all cured and nice and sturdy. And then what I did, I took a hand file and just filed the free edge to remove that piece of plastic from popping them off. And usually, if you guys watch my videos, you know how I say I love to go around my cuticle just to like thin that area out, make it a little bit more flush. But I think this was like the most perfect Gel X application I've did on my channel so far. Like not even just from having to remove the spillage. Like I just felt like they were nice enough to where I didn't even have to thin them out. So I did skip that step completely. I didn't bring out my nail drill for anything. Filing around the cuticles. Um, but now that I have them all applied and cured, I am taking the step one, which is the builder gel. I don't really know why the gel glue doesn't have step one on it because you do use that one first. I feel like that one should have step one and then the builder gel should be step two and the top coat step three. Um, I don't know why they did that but you want to take step one which is the builder gel and you want to go on top of these nails. This is going to give them a little bit more strength and a little bit more stability. 
adding this builder gel will definitely increase the um longevity of them and just keep them from like bending and everything even though the quality is amazing i do advise you to go on with a layer of this builder gel and then make sure you cure for 30 to 60 seconds Now, if you want to keep these nails plain, you can just go ahead and add the top coat on top. Um, but what I'm going to do is after I cured on my builder gel, I'm going to be taking some gel polish and adding on a quick, simple, beginner friendly design. And then once I finish with my design, I'll go in with my top coat. Now for my design, I am going to be using some Bomb Nails Black Gel Polish and the Beta Vela Long Liner Brush. And I'm just going to be outlining my fringes. And then on the French, I'm going to be adding some mini hearts just to tie in like that Valentine's Day look. But also, I feel like it would be interesting to do black hearts. I feel like you don't really see too many black hearts with Valentine's Day. Um, I know there are anti-Valentine's Day designs, but I didn't want to make this like super nail arty. I just wanted to do something really, really simple. So I thought it would be cool to just do black and not like pink. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I'm gonna do. I'll let you guys watch the rest of this play out. What I realized about that builder gel, after curing, it does leave like a tacky layer. So you will have to wipe that away. Before I even did my next nail, I did just go ahead and wipe off my other nails, but I didn't realize before I did my middle finger. So once I finish all of them, you see that one start to like bleed a little bit. And that is the reason why like that tacky layer is just um, allowing it to like bleed and not stay in place so make sure that you do wipe away that tacky layer from the builder gel and then go in with your designs unless you plan to just cure right away but I didn't want to keep putting my hand in the light so I just did them all at once um, and before I do cure them of course I will go back to my middle finger wipe it off and reapply it um, and yeah, that's basically all I'm going to do. I'm going to leave you guys to watch the rest of this video. If you are enjoying it so far, make sure to go ahead and give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment down below. And I will be back in a few minutes.
So I did make sure to cure on um, where I outlined it my French. And now it's time to do the heart. So for the hearts, this is literally the most easiest thing you can do when it comes to nail art besides lines. Um, what you need for the heart is a dotting tool and a small liner brush. So how you want to do it is put two dots right beside each other. Um, and then as you see here, I'm taking my brush and just kind of connect them um, at like an angle so it completes the heart. Um, and I do find out, like for me, I do find that it works better and it turns out better if the hearts do not touch. Not hearts, I meant the dots that like we at first. They turn out better if you don't make them super close together. Um, unless you can just kind of tweak the top of it, make it look a little bit, you know, hearty. Um, sometimes when the hearts touch, it just kind of takes away from the shape. So keep that in mind. And if your hearts are not coming out right, just make the dots a little bit further apart and then try them that way um but yeah that's basically what i'm gonna finish doing on my nails i thought they were really really cute and yeah i'll just leave you guys to it until we finish today's set
So now that I did all of my hearts, I do make sure to cure them for 30 to 60 seconds. Um, and then now I'm going to go in with step two, which is the top coat. Or you can go in with whatever your favorite top coat is. It doesn't matter. But I'm going to use this one because it is a part of their steps. And this top coat is really good. I like it. It's really shiny. I'm going to add on the top coat and cure for 30 seconds. After applying the top coat, I do make sure to remove all of that gel from around my cuticle before curing and this is how the set turned out. Um, I just love how simple this looked, how easy it was and I really hope that the hearts wasn't too boring to sit through. I really hope you guys would still watch anyway. Um, this was not really the original design. I do like how they look and when it comes to like designs like this, I've done this before in a few of my videos where... I wasn't sure if I would like them with or without charms so I do like to take pictures like before I put on the charms and after just in case I love the other one better um so you saw how it looked without the charms and now on top of my top coat I did just go ahead and apply some gem glue and I placed a little black bow and a karami nail charm on my index and ring finger and then I went ahead and cured those in place and now to finish off the Full design I'm gonna add on some cuticle oil to re-nourish my cuticles and once I rub everything in this is how the finished set looks I mean it's really the same it's still really really cute um and I'm really glad that I took pictures and videos without the charms because now looking at them um I kind of feel like I like them better without the charms just because they are a little bit more simple and you know every day even though these charms aren't really big and too much, um, I just feel like I like them more a little bit without the charms or at least not the Karami charm. Like, I don't know. I just feel like both of them are still really cute. But if I had to pick without the charms are better to me. So let me know which one you like down below in the comments. And that basically wraps up today's video. I have everything linked down below for you guys to check out for yourself if you are interested and let me know what you thought about today's set and as always don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!